Howdy. This is uh, an exceptional example of a uh, Oahu lap steel guitar, most likely from the Depression era, era we're thinking 30s, let's say 32 to 22, that'd be 90 years. Um, apparently, someone got this, and you can see that it was played probably with a flat pick. A few little scratches, there's one, scratches, and a couple here, believe it or not, ring, ring. Um, then they put it in the case, and put it under the bed, and I'm, I'm sure this guitar sat in the case for 30 to 50 years and was really probably just uncovered in an estate sale or something. Um, the bridge is a cast aluminum with the crackle finish and it is pristine, it is scary nice. Um, I'm thinking the top is solid spruce. I bought it because I honestly think the top is solid spruce, which is very unusual. It might be birch, and it might be a really good job. But I'm trying, to, I've, when I see the grain itself, I telegraph through the finish, man, it looks like solid spruce. Anyway, um, it's like new. <laughs> This thing is a museum-grade example of a uh, Depression-era lap steel guitar. This would be a student model. That's what these white numbers are. The white numbers are there to keep you from learning how to play the uh, lap steel guitar. They are terrible. Um, uh, as far as condition, again, there seems to be, there's like a dig here in the fretboard that seems to be from the factory. I honestly believe it just came that way from the factory. There's the Oahu stamp in there. It's wood burned in. Oahu did not make guitars. This guitar is a regal guitar. You can bet on it. Um, uh, somewhere in there, regal was acquired by Harmony. Um, Basically, it'd still be a regal guitar. Um, you'll see that the decal goes on top of the finish, and the stamp is easily applied through the sound hole. I believe these guitars were possibly decaled and stamped at the factory, or perhaps at the Oahu facility. Um, Oahu was a publishing company, not a guitar company. These things are held on with uh, three number 10 screws and large flat washers. Um, anyway, it came strung just ungodly. Oh, I think it was 15 to 56 and in open G. I removed those strings. I mean, the thing was just crying. I talked to them, you know, and it told me what it needed and wanted put uh, lighter strings on, we're at 52, we're 11 to 52, but the gauges in here are, are juggled a little bit because I'm in open A. I made this string in 18 because um, if you finger pick it, uh, it won't scrape like, um, and it's a nice unit. These are ladder brace guitars and they're loud. The last of the good stuff blues. There'll be some associated collision noise between the slide and the uh, strings on this one because I'm not uh, dampening much. American Primitive.
pattern here and I look for a center seam there's a center seam I mean this is book match spruce it's pretty nice also um, this is not a student grade instrument this is a mid grade mid to upper grade instrument solid spruce top um, and real binding the binding is uh, you know, celluloid and it's not painted, and this binding here is real. So, uh, and the tuners are really neat. Uh, I was frustrated removing the strings and trying to restring it with these lighter strings. This is a 11, 11.5. You could put a 12 on there to 52. Um, because these holes for the strings do not go straight through the string posts. They go back, they're drilled at an angle back in. Now, as an industrial process, that's not easy. Trying to drill at a, a, a rather stiff angle into a circular surface, it's just, anyway, they work great. You stick the string in there, and um, simply winding it causes the, it makes the ends invisible. You cut your strings rather short and uh, it's foolproof, if you know. Also, they're simply quality. And again, this thing was kept in such a way that these things are perfect. They are perfect. Everything is just like new, basically, except for a couple of things from somebody trying to play it who didn't uh, really know. Key of B. Thank you. 
think about it. <laughs> <laughs>